Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran. In last tutorial, I have discussed some basics of Smart PLS, how to run a model, how to run a measurement and structure models in Smart PLS and what are the basic functions and how to use different options that are available in Smart PLS. And in the end, I have also discussed how to interpret the results. But in today's tutorial, I will specifically discuss about how to run a mediation and moderation analysis in Smart PLS. If you are new to mediation and moderation, let me quickly explain the difference between these two. A mediating variable is, uh, is a variable that actually connects independent variable and dependent variable. And in simple word, it works as a bridge between IV and DV. On the other hand, a moderator is a variable that actually change the strength of the relationship between your independent variable and a dependent variable. So it actually strengthen or weaken the relationship between your IV and DV. So this is the data we have. Let me proceed with the model. So first uh, we have IV self-sacrificial leadership and its symbol is SSL. It consists of five items. So we are just taking all these five items, collecting all five items of self-sacrificial leadership. Let's rename it. And now let's just select our DV, which is psychological well-being. So I'm just selecting the first one. For the simplicity, I'm just taking just only five items of psychological well-being, but actually it contains eight items here. So, okay. Let's move it, rename. So now we have our IV self-sacrificial leadership and we have DV psychological well-being. Now we need to take another variable as a mediator. So let's uh, take this variable, JS job satisfaction, shift, and let's take it here. Rename as JS. And I put it this way to make it look better. And now we need to connect these variables from here to here, here to here, and finally from here to here. So of course, if you recall my last tutorial, first we need to uh, run a measurement model just to analyze the you know validity and reliability and after that we will run a structured model let me let just quickly run it okay let's algorithm and factors and proceed so here you can find you know all the results regarding your measurement model Mostly we are interested in these things, reliability and validity, discriminant validity, outer loadings, you know. And here you can get all the desired things, chrome bulk value, composite reliability, average variance extracted, discriminant validity, formal and latent cardigan, ITMT values. So in fact, you can find all the results regarding your measurement model now let's proceed with the structure model just click bootstrap and here you will select subsample of 5000 let's select the path and proceed start calculation so now you see here are the results if we are interested in the direct relationships. So it is telling us the relationship between JS and PWB, SSL and JS. 
and finally SSL and PWB and these are the beta values standard deviation T values and finally we can see whether all of the relationships are significant or not and for the mediation results we will need to collect this specific indirect effects right and you can see the results regarding the role of job satisfaction as a mediator between SSL and PWB and the result showing us the you know the beta value is 0.112 and you can see it is significant as the p value is 0.001 so in order to reconfirm we can also uh, look into the confidence intervals and you can see in the interval there is no zero lies so it is confirming that the role of job satisfaction as a mediator between SSL and PWB is significant so this is how you can run a mediation model in smart PLS here one thing I want to tell you that here I am using smart PLS 3 Although in the latest model, there is not like much difference, but uh, at least you should know I am running all these results by using Smart PLS 3. Now let's just take this particular variable JS as a moderator, right? First, I will need to delete this arrow. And in order to run a moderation, if you are interested to run a measurement model, of course, there is no difference. You can simply by connecting these variables, you can run a measurement model, same as we did in the mediation case. But now, uh, because we are taking this particular variable JS as a moderator, so what we will need to do is just click this variable PWB, right click, and from here, just select this third option, of add moderating effect and from here you need to select which one is your moderating variable and which one is your independent variable that at this stage we have the moderating variable as js and independent variable is ssl then we will click just ok and now we are just ready to run our moderation model so click click calculate and bootstrap and in order to make it simple and you know just to, just to save the time let me put, use the subsample of 500 and okay we are just ready start calculation and now you can see the results so you can see the impact of JS on PWB it is 0 0.242 the beta value and it is significant and then if you are interested to see if there is any significant relationship between your IV and DV here you can see the beta value is 0 0.385 and it is significant and the finally the most important we are interested in we were interested in the moderating effect and here you can see the moderating effect is 0.110 and it is significant here the important thing is if you want to rename moderating variable you can also do so that uh, you know you can quote your results in term of interaction term you can put it like um, js and you know st um, strike and ssl and now it will show us the results of interaction term of course it's just the same it's just the you know i have just renamed it so that you can clearly understand this is our moderating variable and uh, in whenever we are examining a moderating role of specific variable we always create interaction term and this is what uh, this smart pls do so you can see it is significant and uh, if we are interested to see the confidence interval you can see by clicking this and you can see this is also you know there is no zero in the interval so we can conclude uh, there is a significant
significant moderation impact of JS job satisfaction between SSL and PWB. Here another important thing if you want to draw a graph for your moderating effect this is also you can do same as you run a measurement model PLS algorithm and start calculation and here you can find the graph relating to your moderating variable simple slope analysis just click it and here you can find the you know graph which you can add in your search article or your thesis so i hope this video will be helpful to understand how to run a moderation and mediation analysis in smart pls thanks for watching